Today, I'm gonna be busting 50 reptile mists in 50 hours. All lizards have legs. Hey, Mike, you wanna get that for me? This one doesn't have legs. And honestly, there are three species that, that have no legs. No legs. All snakes, I guess including a two-headed snake, are venomous. What? Well, that one's not venomous. Not that I know of. The fact is, there's about 300 species of snakes on the planet, and only about 600 of them have any venom at all, with only about 200 of them being significantly venomous to harm a person. That's not even half. I don't know how to math. That's not even a quarter. Snakes can hypnotize you with a stare. You're getting really sleepy. You wanna quack like a duck. Quacking. Turns out that's actually not true. You can't get hypnotized by a snake. All pythons don't need to eat ever. Well, how do they survive? It makes no sense. Exactly. All animals need to eat, and ball pythons certainly eat typically once a week. That's like me not having ice cream for four days. I'm just dead. The only thing lizards eat are flies and other insects. Obviously that's not true because our buddy Tabasco loves his veggies. Only venomous snakes have teeth. Well, this isn't a venomous snake right here and I can assure you this one has teeth. Ow! Yeah, they have about 200 teeth. Just to prove to you, this is Night Fury's tooth. A python, non-venomous. Non-venomous. Some snakes are vegetarian. That's just stupid. Don't get my hand. Oh my goodness. Gonna grab my hand. Woo! Look at that, that's how it's done, Mike. She's sweating. <laughs> <laughs> All snakes have to eat live prey. I think we just proved the point. All our snakes at the zoo eat frozen thaw. You get warts from touching a toad. I'm gonna look like a witch. Mm. Witches. The truth is you don't get warts from handling toads or frogs. Tomorrow we're coming and our cheeks look like this, you know? <laughs> All toads and frogs are poisonous and kill the people. The truth is all toads and frogs do have a little bit of poison venom gland, but they're not dangerous to people. There's only a few species on the planet that have enough toxin to actually affect people. Thank goodness. You can spread slime on a turtle to make him a ninja turtle. I'm not even going to respond to this one. You have to have a rat and four turtles. Ninja turtle. Can't forget the pizza. <laughs> nice. All turtles and tortoises only need one leaf of lettuce per day to survive. Right, Matilda? That's not true. I actually can eat seven or eight entire heads of lettuce per day. Back to this guy that's biting me. It says a king snake bite isn't venomous, but it will make you sick. Can you see it let go? and I feel just fine. It's totally okay to carve your name in the shell of a tortoise. Stay still, stay still. Guys, the tortoise shell is attached to its nervous system, so if you actually carve your name into it, it's gonna hurt the tortoise, and not to mention it get infected and potentially die. Aww. So no carving? How do we remember their name? I can't remember. It's okay to drill a yeah, hole. Right. What are you doing? You could drill a hole in the shell of a tortoise, and then you actually hook a chain to it, so that way it doesn't run away. Oh, no. <laughs> that makes sense. No, actually, again, attach to the nervous system. Don't drill holes in tortoises, and don't mess with their shell. Shell oh, yeah. yeah! Reptiles only grow to the size of their enclosure. Shivering? How do you even fit in that stuff? Grow, buddy, grow! I don't know, man. I think he might need a bigger tank. Yep. The truth is, reptiles are gonna grow no matter what size enclosure they're in. Trust me, ask any reptile rescue about that. As for now, Jeffrey can go back into his large enclosure. Reptiles are inexpensive and make great pets. While they do make absolutely incredible pets, the truth is, a lot of them are very expensive. An animal like Neo here is over $5,000. $5,000? You know how many McDonald's I could buy with $5,000? How many ice cream cones we could buy? 27000 Something like that. Oh. Reptiles need friends. I need a friend. <laughs> the truth is, there are some reptiles that do stay communally, but the vast majority of reptiles are solitary animals in the wild. They really have nothing to do with any other reptile. Reptiles are stupid. That's actually false because science has proved that reptiles are super smart. Way smarter than Mike. <laughs> Yep. And the more we learn about reptiles, the smarter they become. And we become. Mm, don't get too far ahead of yourself. Which brings me to my next thing, which is reptiles cannot be trained. Woo! There you go, buddy. Obviously, he's been trained to follow a ball for food. Light is stressful to nocturnal animals. You can't get much more nocturnal than the giant leaf-tailed geckos. Look at those eyes right there. The truth is, is yes, light actually does affect them. They prefer to be in the dark, but they're also out sunning sometimes during the daytime. So most of the time, light isn't that bad for most nocturnal animals. Think of it this way, cats are nocturnal. A cultured snake will actually use its tail to beat someone to death, then stick the tail up their nose. What? <laughs> 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 you gotta be dead, Mike. <laughs> Tickle, go ahead. The hoop snake will actually stick its tail in its mouth and roll after you chasing you. Is there even such a thing called a hoop snake? Sounds like a bunch of hoopla to me. There's actually not a hoop snake. This is complete legend and lore. Hoopla! When a snapping turtle bites you, they will not let go until they hear the roar of thunder. That's so stupid. Insert something about Thor. Thunder!
A lot of giant snapping turtles will actually develop holes in their carapace, and oftentimes people say that they're so old that it was a hole from a musket ball from the Civil War. And they're all lying, but ours actually got hit by a musket ball. Somebody got the floor wet. Thank you to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Noah back here is going to be messing with the alligators while I explain all about Raycon. Raycon is an amazing company. They have the most amazing earbuds. I've been using them for like two and a half years now, guys. And you guys remember, I love these things. And now they're even more comfortable with their optimized gel fits. I mean, they're going to fit in your ears. And look, I could shake, I could headbang, I could do whatever. They're not going to fall out. Listen, I'm cleaning snakes all day with these earbuds, and, and they're absolutely amazing. I listen to podcasts, I listen to music. I listen. Um, I need help. I can listen to music while guys like Noah here are doing whatever they want. They don't bother me whatsoever. And the thing that's nice is that they're about a half the price of other premium audio brands. And these guys have an eight hour listening life with 32 hours with this beautiful case here. And listen, now if you want to go completely wireless, they actually have a wireless charging station to boot. I've referred hundreds and hundreds of people to Raycon and I haven't heard anything but amazing feedback. I wish this was as easy as getting a new pair of earbuds. It is no wonder that Raycon has 49,000 five star reviews. That's a lot of reviews. Right now, you can go to buyraycon.com slash Brian B and save 15%. That's right, buyraycon.com slash Brian B and save 15% off an already incredible price. Sprinkling sulfur in your yard will actually repel snakes. Sulfur, sulfur, sulfur. <laughs> I'm like St. Patrick. The truth is there's no actual repellent that you can use to get rid of snakes in your yard. They sell a lot of them, but none of them work. Snakes can't see red light. They only can't see any light. There's actually been research recently that actually shows that reptiles can have a larger spectrum of light than actual humans. So yes, reptiles can't see red light. Green light. Albino reptiles shouldn't be in the sun because it can hurt their eyes. Now this is a partial truth, to be honest with you, because they do have more sensitive eyes, but depending on the type of albino, it can be more severe. With albino alligators, I try to keep them out of direct sun. Albino alligators can get sunburned too. Reptiles can actually die if they don't have heat, even for just a couple hours. That's not true. Why don't you tell them, Brian? Reptiles like turtles, like red earth sliders, and a ton of other animals come from cold climate, and when it starts to cool off, they actually go into a more brumative state, so they can go months without heat. A snake like Ivy, the green anaconda, can get up to 30 feet. No, more like 29 and a half. The truth is, the record snake was just over 25 feet, and there's never been a snake over 30 feet ever. As a matter of fact, Theodore Roosevelt offered $100,000 for any snake over 30 feet, and no ever claim that prize. My. Snakes of any size can and will kill humans. Even one like this size? The vast majority of snakes will not kill people. Although it's a very rare thing that a non-venomous snake kills somebody, and here in America, there's only been a couple cases in history of non-venomous snakes ever killing anybody, no matter what size they were. Reptiles make great pets for boys, but not for girls. What the heck is that supposed to mean? The one big change in the reptile keeping hobby is the fact that there's probably almost as many women keeping reptiles as there are men these days, so that is a complete myth. Komodo dragons aren't venomous. After many years, there's actually research done that they do have a venom gland that actually can excrete venom. Fact is, Komodo dragons are venomous. Snakes are evil! That's not true. Most snakes are probably dogs. Well, they're actually snakes, but they are really nice. Do snakes have bones? Nope. Yeah. Well, let me settle this. Snakes actually have a bunch of bones. They're all ribs and spine. They usually have a couple hundred ribs, so snakes do have bones. You win some, you lose some. He didn't know what he's talking about. I just started here. Snakes can live ethically on a vegan diet. No. Humans can barely live on an all-vegetarian vegan diet. There are no vegan or vegetarian snakes. All snakes are actually carnivores. Isn't technically the egg eating snake? a vegetarian because vegan doesn't eat eggs but vegetarians do. I said vegan, Mike. There we go. There we go. Tortoises can't feel their shell. Their spine actually runs all the way down to their tail so they can feel every little movement that we do. She loves scratching. Scratch your booty. Snakes are just lizards without tails. Plants a lizard with no legs. No legs. Well, snakes did evolve from a lizard type of an animal. They're basically as closely related to a lizard as say a bird is to a reptile. The physiological part of a snake is wildly different than a lizard. Releasing your pet reptile into the wild is a great way to humanely get rid of them. That sounds, that sounds like, like a, a dumb, dumb idea. idea. That's right, it is a dumb idea. Never ever release your pet, no matter what, into the wild because it can become an invasive animal and that is a major problem for the ecosystem. Chameleons change color to blend in with their surroundings. Nope. Not see through like water. This one kind of matches. 
Yeah, it does. The truth is, chameleons can actually lighten or darken the hue of the colors that they are, but they can't change radically. It's basically a interlacing guanine crystal that tightens or loosens that actually changes the hue of the color they are. So this animal can never turn green or purple or any of those other colors and certainly not plaid. All reptiles, especially turtles, give you salmonella. Mike, 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 Mike. Lick it, 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 lick it. I'm not licking it. Why? I'm not getting salmonella. You don't want salmon vanilla? I like salmon and vanilla. The fact is, you have a better chance of getting salmonella from the chicken you ate last night than you do a reptile. People have fallen into a nest of cotton mouse and been bitten to death. Are there even nests of cotton mouse? While cotton mouse will sometimes brumate together in larger groups, it's very rare to have a nest of cotton mouse, and certainly there's never been any reports of anyone falling into that nest and actually been killed by them. Oh, thank goodness. Rattlesnakes are being introduced into areas to reduce the turkey population. I'm not gonna have that big juicy turkey for Thanksgiving? Yeah, that really puts a damper on our plans, Mike. Seriously? There are no current programs that are introducing rattlesnakes to anywhere to control any population. If a snake is small, it has to be a baby. That's not true at all because this is only a handful of months old and it's probably about three feet long. The truth is there's all kinds of different snakes. There are some snakes that only get four inches long as adults. Looks more like six inches to me. There's a saying that says red next to yellow is a deadly fellow and red next to black is a friend of Jack. Now this only pertains to North America and in particular the coral snake. The problem is in other countries besides North America, America, there are snakes that red touch black that are still venomous. So that saying doesn't work around the world. Some snake species actually have poisonous breath. Yes, it's true. The fact is that is absolutely not true. No snakes have poisonous breath, but uh, I am worried about Noah. A snake that won't eat may be planning an escape to kill its owner. Ba, ba, ba. And obviously that's just not true. Some snakes do go on some hunger strikes. Ball pythons are notorious for sometimes going as much as 12 or 14 months without food, but they're never planning to kill their owner. Releasing a king snake in the wild will deter rattlesnakes from coming into that area. And although king snakes definitely do eat rattlesnakes, they won't deter the local populations of rattlesnakes from coming in, but they will occasionally eat one of them. God, these things just keep getting dumber and dumber. Dumber and dumber. <laughs> A snake can only strike from a coiled position. Ooh, we can see this snake will strike in any position at all. Ooh, this is definitely a uh, myth busted. Turtles and tortoises can actually climb out of their shell. Like a hermit crab. They do it every night. Every night? I don't think so. These guys are born with the shell, they grow with the shell, and they die with the same shell, never being able to climb out because it's attached right to their spine. And you know what? I think that's the last myth. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one. Then what do I see every night? Not a turtle.